Friends, good morning. Welcome back. It's still Easter. So, hallelujah, Christ is risen. All right, so we've got another great gospel story for you today. But this one is a little bit different because like a lot of the Bible, it's not quite so clear as the story. So I'm going to read it and then we're going to wonder about it together. Okay? So first I'm going to read it. It's from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, and it goes like this. Do not be worried and upset, Jesus told them, his disciples that is. Believe in God and believe also in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house, and I am going to prepare a place for you. I would not tell you this if it were not so. And after I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to myself so that you will be where I am. You know the way that leads to the place where I am going. But one of his disciples, Thomas, said, Lord, we don't know the way. Jesus answered him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except by me. Now that you have known me, he said to them, you will know my father also. And from now on, you do know him and you have seen him. So that's our gospel reading. But what does it mean? Well, to start with, Jesus says, there are many rooms in my father's house and I'm going to prepare a place for you. I wonder what that would be like. And then Jesus says this other thing, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I wonder what he might mean by that. I am the way, come follow me. I'm going to follow him. I want to go my own way. Everything I say is true. It is all written in this book. Also, it is true that the stove is hot. I don't believe her. It doesn't look good, Jesus. She fell down a cliff then burned herself on the stove. Don't worry, I am the light. Okay, well that was our interpretation of the gospel story. Hope you liked it. Probably not what Jesus had in mind when he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. But we had some fun. But the story for our lives is true. We follow Jesus. He leads the way. He is the truth and the truth of his word written in the Bible. And he gives us life. Isn't that a great story? That's why we follow him. All right, well, I encourage you all to do the rest of today's worship service at home. And until then, uh, I will see you next week. God bless.